Hey guys, one taste daily vlog. Sorry for the delay of uploads. Um, I have been busy with RL stuff, so is Michael. And obviously, the previous Lauren vlog I had uploaded from this month, I uh, told you guys that there might have been a delay. Might will. Oh my gosh, will be a delay of uploads for a while because one, well, I was pregnant during that time frame and it was one of those ones where I could have gone into labor at any time but it was one of those ones where I had to go to the hospital and had to be induced for labor but you guys are probably wondering what her name is um we did a name reveal back in three something or whatnot it was like 399 or 398 or something like it. I don't remember exactly, but um, we had told you guys that her name is Bella. So, we have a beautiful girl named Bella, and she's the most adorable thing ever. And that's also part of the reason why I haven't been able to record and upload as much as I used to. So... Um, but I do love her, and I will try to upload as, when I do get the chance to, when I'm not so busy. Um, this is one of those ones where things are different now, where Michael and I now have a kid. So, um, so, this is Christmas morning, part one of 2017. This will be you guys don't have seen the first time you'll see uh, Baby Bella. Um, that won't be until part two. Michael and Baby Bella obviously are currently asleep and I'm the only one up. And Santa Claus had left presents under the Christmas tree. So we'll start off with the stockings. Alright, so the stockings, we got a little more stockings than last year. Um, we have Mavericks right here. And you guys probably remember this was Billy's at one point. This is Clipper's stocking now. Instead of buying Clipper a new stocking, we had decided, you know what, we'll let him use Billy's old stocking from last year. And I obviously cleaned it so he could use it. So that's Clipper's stocking now. Little Tigger one. Obviously, you guys know that I bought these two from Dollar General for a dollar. This one is Dog Bella's stocking. This one is Sammy's stocking. And then up here, we got Bella's uh, first Christmas uh, stocking. Um, for those who are wondering where I found this one, I had basically found this one at, um, what was it, Walmart, when they only had one left during the time, but during the time frame of when I found this, um, it was like November something or whatnot, it was like very late November, I think it was like November 27th or something like it, but this is only a one-time use uh, stocking because it says my first Christmas 2017 so baby Bella has two stockings once this one is used for the year she's got another one right over there that is going to be hers for a very long time that she can use for every Christmas the Fox one obviously is Michael's I know this is a little weird way to hang up stockings but I had to make a uh, well, I didn't have to make a way, uh, uh, I didn't hang all these exactly. Some of these were done by Santa. Like, a lot of these down here were hung up by me. But that was just because I didn't want them getting into their stockings just yet and just ruining it all, all together. But um, here's my stocking that has the little Mickey on it. And we just want to make sure that 
you get the point, so. And then we walk over here to two more stockings. We have a little penguin here that is Caesar's. I moved that on, on the bedroom just because um, Bella's bassinet is in our bedroom. That's where she's going to be sleeping in, a bassinet. And obviously the bird is in a separate bedroom, for those who are wondering. And he's been behaving pretty well huh? ever since we brought baby Bella home. But um, Caesar stockings are going to be out here for now until we wake up to open our presents. And I will show off Caesar, obviously, because I love him and he is uh, my bird. Um, this is Bella's stocking. She will be using after, well, she's still going to be using it for a very long time. Uh, she has a Paw Patrol one. And before we move on with the Christmas tree presents, what Santa had left, we will show off the cookies that Santa had ate. Not very much, I will say that. Um, okay, it's going to be a little bright in here. I took a nibble uh, off of the tree cookie. And since we didn't have milk, we had to go with the Coca-Cola idea. Yeah, it's kind of cheesy huh, that we did that, but you know what? It works. So, and for those who are wondering, this is a different plate you have. Yes, it is. This plate says cookies for Santa. And it is Santa right here. So, um, for those who are wondering where I found this plate, I found this plate at Walmart for, I want to say it was two or three dollars that I paid for this plate when it came out. I found it in the um, seasonal kitchenware where they have like Christmas, uh, like kitchen stuff in one small aisle placemats and table covers, plates, cookie jars, all that stuff. This is where I found it. And this was the last one that they had during the time when I first got this one. And I like it. And there was a reason why I actually got this one. Um, my dad had a Cookies for Santa plate and I couldn't find one similar to that one, and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to get one that says Cookies for Santa on it, and that would be a cool idea, and I don't think I showed you guys the uh, kitchen tree, Michael probably put this on the kitchen tree, but there's a Santa on top here for the tree topper, here's the kitchen tree, this is supposed to be based off of a tree that gives you the vibes of you feel like uh, cooking something delicious for your family members and the ornament tree is just sitting here for now because well Michael and I had made cookies before Santa had came over to drop off presents for Bella and that was like around 11 at night yesterday Christmas Eve so I'm going to move that back to the uh, island. But the ornament tree is to give off the colorful vibe. And then we have the um, electrical tree here. This is a tree I had for a very long time. Um, a lot different than my other ones, obviously. And it's the one I had ever since I was little. 
and this is in the kitchen to give off the colorful vibe as well. And then, that's pretty much it for the kitchen. I know you guys seen sprinkles and frosting. We never got the time to do that, unfortunately. But um, we'll go back to the living room, show off the presents real quick before they are unwrapped in part two. Here is the presents. These are all the presents that Santa had left. I will tell you this, this is going to be one big Christmas with me, Michael, and Bella. I'm just saying this right now, so. Bella has a lot of presents from Santa. She's got a little doggy. She's got a little uh, Mickey chair that's buried under presents right now. Um, and of course, Michael and I uh, got each other presents as well, as usual. Um, yeah, of course. Little baby Bella got a pink fox. And Tigger is like halfway buried into the, <laughs> the pile of presents. But I'll take a step back here. I know for sure the first thing that Bella sees when she wakes up is oh my goodness I have so many presents <laughs> that's probably the first thought that she's going to have in her head <laughs> when she comes down here this morning oh my gosh but um yeah this Christmas vlog is going to be a little more different than last year's and of course the next year's as well but you know what it's worth it so I'm going to go in bed because right now it is 6 19 in the morning I had not slept yet <laughs> and that just shows you how long I've been up I have been basically been up cleaning, getting the place looking nice, and making sure there wasn't a mess before Michael and I come down here to open presents, especially with the baby, and pretty much that's about it, but um, I will see you guys on part two.